What's up YouTube? Special video for you today. It's actually going to be my first video in my web tutorial series. And to do it, I'm joined today with my special friend Chris, who's actually a software engineer at Crushed and a director at Hacker Earth. Chris, do you want to tell YouTube a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, hi guys. I'm actually a junior in high school right now, so I'm a little bit younger um, compared to everyone else on the team. But, you know, I love computer science as much as everyone else, and I'm really into, like, object-oriented programming, like Python and Java, but I do a lot in machine learning and mobile development as well. Yeah. So today we're actually going to be taking a closer look at the Twitter API, which has really become a staple in modern businesses. So we will be using Python to learn how to scrape data from Twitter, and this will allow us to spot data trends, or if you just want to grow your Twitter following, this is a great way to do it. So Chris will be walking you through the tutorial, so let's get started. All right, hey, what's up guys? So today I'm bringing you guys a video on web scraping and we're gonna be specifically scraping Twitter actually today. And we're gonna be doing this because Twitter actually has a lot of very interesting like data for analyzing like trends and politics or whatever you'd like. Um, and today we'll be showing you how to, you know, just get all the followers of a given user if you just wanna keep their account names or something and then send them a message. So we'll start off our file with, um, we don't need these, sorry. Um, start off your file after installing uh, Tweepy with an import Tweepy at the top. And then under that, you'll have to initialize Tweepy and like let it know that it's your Twitter account. So you'll have to set it as, you'll need your consumer token right here and your consumer secret, as well as your access token and access your secret access token. And you can get all these from the Twitter developer tools after creating uh, after creating an account, but I'll link all that. We'll link all that in the description. So after writing these two, you wanna initialize the API. Um, so you can go right here and just call um, tweepy.api and then with your auth, and that'll go right through. And then after that, you just wanna define a function. So we'll just call it main. And then you can actually, so today we can just get, um, say let's get all the users who uh, all the users who follow um, Donald Trump in from Twitter. And we can do this by calling what's called a cursor from Tweepy, And that just iterates through um, like a list. You give it like api.followers right here. And then I have to also give, give it a screen name to, um, to let it know which account I'm looking at, which is real Donald Trump. Then after that, I can specify how many, how many, um, uh, how many actual followers I want to get at a single time, because when you have the free version of Tweepy, um, it limits your, it limits the amount of calls you can make to the API so you want to get the largest count you can and 200 is the max so this will give us a list of users um, uh, from you know as much as we can before we hit the rate limit for Tweepy um, uh, all users that follow um, real Donald Trump on Twitter and it'll start from the most recent person to follow Donald Trump and then just go all the way down to the first person to ever follow him so then with this list, we can do, actually do like a lot of really cool things. Like say right here, we can, if we wanted to, you can print out, uh, you, so you just do try, um, you have to call this function every time you want the next user and you just do next user users. And that just iterates through the list that Tweepy gave you through their cursor. And then, so you do let, or you can do var user equals next users and that will set oh you actually don't even need to declare it sorry i'm so used to swift right now so you just say user equals next users and that'll just you know get you the most recent user out of your list of followers from donald trump and then once you have this user object you can check out the tweepy docs but you there's some amazing things you can do just with this object for instance you could like you could print the users um user dot you can go screen name and that'll give you their, you know, their actual username, what's right after the at sign. Or, you know, you can print out their user dot name, which will print out what they actually have is set as their name. You can also 
a lot of people do uh, a recursive function to just get tons of followers over and over and over. And so what they'll do is they'll get a list of followers from a given person. And then once they have those followers for every follower, they'll get all those followers. And then soon enough, you'll be, you'll have every single user on Twitter, you know, iterated into a list where you can just analyze all their data, look at what they're saying. So you can also get, um, or so you can handle, I mentioned earlier that TweetPie has like a rate limit for when they, they don't want you, you know, Twitter isn't going to let you keep stealing data from them for free, basically. Uh, and so they'll limit you, they'll cut you off. But, you know, people have found a way around this. And so you can just call accept error, And when you call this, it, um... So this will say, this is why we had to have this try function up here, um, because we can have the accept down below where we can say, try doing this, but if there's a tweepy.tweep error, then do this. And what we can say is print, you know, just to let us know what's going on, tweepy has hit its rate limit for now. But TweetPie's rate limit actually refreshes every 15 minutes. So if you just call, oh, sorry, you have to import this one package up here um, just by importing time up top. And then you can call this function. Um, you can do time.sleep for 60 star 15. Um, and that will actually um, make, your, make your function wait. 15 minutes exactly on the dot and then as soon as that's done just call um next uh users and that'll just go right through it again it'll just keep trying it over and over and over so you can actually put this in a for loop is what a lot of people like to do they'll do for you know i and range say you only wanted the first 200 followers just for the sake of the argument and then uh, i'll have to fix my indentation but so then this will just whenever there's an error it says wait 15 minutes and then just find the next user and keep going through it and then basically once you have this done you can do whatever you want with this user you know user object you can print its name you can enter him into an array or do whatever you'd like with the data but it's really powerful and it's really great for independent projects and just seeing the trends through twitter data but yeah, I mean, that's all. You guys can, uh, you know, comment or something. If you guys have any questions, um, we'll get right back to you and get that fixed up. All right, bye.